Hello everyone. Welcome to Introduction to Deep Learning for 2024. Today we'll be looking into setup for AWS machines. I will be sharing this PDF via the post web page so you can follow the instructions video over here. Let's start by opening AWS console and signing in. Once you are signed in, you can choose your local zone here. So I have set it the local zone whichever is closest to me. You can do the same. Once you are done, then you can check for what what is the service quota available to you. So search here service quotas. We'll be looking into EC2 instances. So you can check that. Check for on demand. So make sure that you have like a non-zero number of G and VT instances because we'll be using those. Once you have them, you are good to go. But if you don't, you can always request here. It will take some time for AWS administrators to get back to your request. Once you have done that, you can follow the steps by looking into the instances and launching them. Here, once you see the screen, you can launch instances. Give a name of maybe IDL. Okay. Uh, for the application in OS images, we recommend using Ubuntu. The Amazon machine image we would like to be pre installed with PyTorch. So select that one. Confirm the changes. Also, you can choose a basic machine image and install all the things like have a Conda environment installed, then install the PyTorch manually. That can also be done. For the instance type, we recommend machine soft G file. You can choose any configuration based on whatever requirement you have. So in the 2x is like the one which will be sufficient in most cases for our assignments you can create a key pair once you click here you can I remember the file name that you gave here and this will download the key pair to your to your system after that for network settings please allow all the connections this will be helpful in connecting a jupyter notebook as well for the configuration storage this is up to you depending upon how much the data set you have you can make changes here once you have this you can launch the instance while it's getting launched we can go to our local file so this is my fresh terminal. I will move the downloaded key pair file to my SSH. Once it's moved, we can we should make it executable. Once it's executable, go to your instance, refresh it, you will see an instance running, click on the instance. Now you can click on connect. This will open up the SSH client information. Go to your VS code or any favorite code editor. Go into the extensions and install 
remote SSH extension. So please install this instance and once you are installed it, you can connect to any host. For connecting, you can press on connect to host. We need to add a new host here. So it, it's asking for a SSH command. This will be available here. So once you copy it, you can just paste it here. So you need to remember that we just moved the file. So it's better to update the path as well. So let's do it again. The file is right now in the .ssh folder. So we should follow that. Save it to the default configuration folder. Yeah. And once that's done, you can configure the SSH host. So this was the instance that we just saved. Let me rename it to test. And again, we go connect to host. Now we can see the test. Day. Now we just connect to it. So right now it's connecting. Okay, so it's connected now. Click on open folder. Can trust the parent. So right now we are into the AWS EC2 instance. Now you can follow the code that is given in the next text so it is to source the on the pytorch environment we got it working we can add a new file let's say this dot by okay and paste the code that is given here And now we run the file. For the initial execution, it does take some time, but later on, when you want to execute any new files, it, it, it becomes very quick. All the instru instructions are given here, which which I just showed in demonstration. Yeah. You can also install like, uh, like extensions for Python and Jupyter Notebook for the SSH EC2 instance. Okay, so we see that the GPU is available and also the torch is running. So yeah, that is it. When, when you want to disconnect to the instance, you can just click on this here and say click on remote, close remote connection. That is it. If you want to connect to a Jupyter notebook, we will also be sharing this like a collab notebook here. 
it has other instructions on how to running notebook on AWS. So please refer that. Once you are done working with on your instances, go to your instance tab. Let's update it. Okay, you can see the instance here. Click on instance state and terminate the instance. After a few minutes, once you update this list, it should be deleted. And uh, please don't forget to delete this instances because it becomes very really expensive. If you do have any questions on this, you can always connect to us 